That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I am playing a game in these glasses. I'm literally playing Skyrim and it's being beamed directly into my eyeball. This video is sponsored by Vitcher. So these are the Vitcher One Extended Reality Glasses made by Vitcher. I've been seeing these things floating around on the internet, YouTube, Twitter. So they sent me something called the Vitcher Ultimate Pack. And that includes the glasses, that includes this fancy neckband that goes along with the glasses. It includes a mobile dock that you can use with Switch, with your Steam Deck, with your ROG Ally. So out of all these, let's start with the glasses. That's probably why you clicked on this video. So in these lenses, they pack in a full HD 1080p 60fps monitor. And I gotta say, the pixel density and the color were, I was pretty impressed by it. I was surprised, I will say. And with that screen, you have a number of customizations available to you. First off, they have a couple of buttons on the bottom of this, what do you call it, a leg? <laughs> a glasses leg? What is this? What the, the thing like this thing right here that goes over your ear. Ray, that's called the temple. They have a couple of buttons on that, the bottom of the left one, and one of them you can adjust like your level of immersion. There's a transparency mode so you can like see more of the stuff that's going on around you. And then if you click it, it adjusts the brightness to where it's more dark. It cuts out everything so you just focus on the screen. So for anyone who's visually impaired, who needs glasses to, you know, see, like me, uh, these dials on the front are a myopia adjustment feature. And all you gotta do to find the visual setting that's right for you is just fiddle with the knobs to adjust your view. And believe it or not, these things also have speakers as well. You can switch back and forth between 2D and 3D using that button that you use to adjust the transparency of the glasses. So you can play games and movies that support 3D in 3D. And obviously when you have it on, the screen moves with you, but if you're like, nah, 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 I don't really want that, you can pin the screen to a specific location. So when you turn, you can turn and talk to your friend, your girlfriend, wife, whoever, and then <laughs> turn back your attention to the screen that you pinned. So this thing has a wide range of compatibility. You can plug it in directly to your Xbox, directly into your PC, computer, laptop. Like I mentioned earlier, you can use it with your Nintendo Switch, uh, ROG Ally, Steam Deck. But where things get pretty interesting is when you pair the glasses up with another device that Vitcher makes, just called the neckband. So here you got a little neckband. It's not really a neckband yet. You gotta unfold it like this, and then it's ready for your neck. They have a little thing to plug in the neckband into the glasses. And this is where things start to get interesting because this neckband has its own OS. And they have apps on this thing like uh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, YouTube, and you can also play remotely with your Xbox through their own dedicated Xbox Play app. You have a number of ways to control this neckband thing. So on the inside, you have just a standard like little D-pad. There is a Vitcher app available on both Apple and Google Play, which basically turns your phone into a touchpad controller that you can use to control your neckband. If you're having trouble with the D-pad, you can also adjust the settings on the neckband itself. And with this, like I mentioned earlier, you're able to cast from multiple devices, actually. Uh, it supports AirPlay if you have iPhone, it supports Miracast if you're casting from your PC, and I also cast it from my Android device. So what's the deal, Ray? This is an Xbox channel, and here you are talking about glasses, neckbands, what's going on? The first thing I did when I got these things was I took this mobile dock, which is in its intended use is for the Switch and for the Steam Deck. But as you can see, it has its own HDMI port. Took the HDMI cord that was going out of my Xbox and plugged it into this, and I started playing Chivalry 2. I'm sorry, like I always go back to that game. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about it. But Ray, what, like why? Why would I wanna do that? I already have a TV for my Xbox. I already have a monitor for my PC. I don't need a pair of glasses when I'm playing either of those things. And I agree with you. Yes, you can do it and it was kinda cool. But where this thing really shines is remote play with your Xbox. With it, you're able to connect to your Xbox like you would with your phone or any other mobile device and play it on your glasses. And also in a surprise twist, this thing also supports co-op play. So if you connect this with your Switch and you happen to be playing some sort of co-op game, you can connect another pair of glasses to this thing and you can both be playing on your own personalized screens. So again, I really feel like this thing shines in the cloud gaming configuration. Whereas like usually I'd be playing on my phone on this small screen. It's just, it's a much better experience, I gotta say. Especially any game that you're planning on playing with touch controls. Obviously those things take up like the whole screen when you're playing through cloud gaming. With this, it kind of takes away that extra clutter. 
So again, here's that cloud gaming app. You can see I'm controlling it with the controller. But all of this, you're gonna have to take my word for it, is being projected into my eyeballs. So when I first got this, I was like, oh, like a cool way to play my games. What I wasn't expecting is to be using a ton of other apps with it, like Netflix, like YouTube. They also have Max on there as well. They have like an app store on there. Like I mentioned earlier, you can download any videos that you have directly onto the neckband. And if they are 3D videos, whether they're movies or something else, uh, they'll automatically play in 3D. All right. So I just turned on transparency mode so I can look into this camera. I can look past the TV screen that's being projected in my face. As you can see, I'm on a couch. <laughs> Very nice couch, huh? Nice little color. Nice little accent piece. I'm just surprised that like the pixel density is the way is the quality that it is. Like it's not grainy at all. It's a very solid picture. And especially with cloud gaming on any mobile devices, specifically phones, a lot of those games don't look too great on a screen that's small. With these, it kind of alleviates that problem. You can enjoy your games and your media without bothering anyone else. So I see these working pretty well, like for people who travel, or if you're like laying in bed and your wife is asleep, she's gotta wake up early for work and you don't really have a real job, you're just a YouTuber, so you're up late playing games, watching videos. Uh, you can use these to not bother her or disturb her. So if you're watching this video and you're like, dang, these look pretty cool. These glasses that Ray's talking about look pretty sweet. Go to vitcher.com slash Xbox ready. You can buy any of these devices separately, but if you want the whole thing that I've been talking about, the glasses, the neckband, the mobile dock, that's the Vitcher Ultimate Pack. And thanks so much again to Vitcher for sponsoring this video. We'll see you in the next one.